Unfortunately, we've got ridiculously slow internet here. Mm -hmm. Consoles allow you to play on overseas servers with a decent ping. When they all come out, they're generally about $1,000, aren't they? About $1,000. Generally, and when they're brand new. That's if you're talking brand new, they're $1,000. If you left it on for too long, um, their first model didn't have enough fans in their system and it would get the red ring and die. Hope you're gaming this lag free. That's my line. Hi everyone, it's Paulie here for another episode of Game Talk. Today with me is Bryce. Hello. We're going to have one of the most epic discussions, which is better, PC versus console. Before we pick a side, I'd just like to say that personally, I am just happy for people to game. But in this particular format, uh, we do need to pick a side. And also, uh, this is just a blanket statement for all PCs and all consoles as of today, not PCs and consoles in the past. So 2018, the PC console lineup. Let's start with price. So what are you looking at purchasing? How much does it cost to purchase a brand new PlayStation or Xbox One X? Well, I think when they all come out, they're generally about $1,000, aren't they? About $1,000. Generally, and when they're brand new. That's if you're talking brand new, they're $1,000. Okay, okay. Roundabout. Probably a bit more. First week, a couple games thrown in, I think. Okay. PCs, as you know, can be expensive. Now, yeah. you can get your cheap PCs and laptops for under $1,000. You can get them for eight, six, you know, really your gaming capabilities are limited. For $1,000, you can actually get a decent budget gaming computer. If you check out the link below in the description section, check out EMG's Alpha version one. It was a computer that we designed and built for under $1,000. It runs so well. And it does full 60 frames per second gaming, but we'll get into that in a second. Price-wise, yes, gaming computers can be a bit more expensive, uh, especially for professional rigs, you can be looking at thousands of dollars. Uh, when you start to talk about water cooling, I mean, you're talking about regular servicing, it, it can really start getting expensive. But even if you want ex quality accessories, then you're gonna, even that's expensive. That, you, you're correct, your, your, your keyboards, your yeah. mice, your headsets, your accessories, which we'll get into in a sec, uh, will cost a substantial amount of money. A lot of gamers, hardcore, PC gamers will say, you know, there is no amount that's too much to spend on a PC. You'll see ridiculous setups online that are 20,000, mm. yeah. and it's not uncommon to hear $5,000 being dropped on the system. Yeah, usually they don't play with the $5 Logitechs, even though that's all I ever play with them. Seem to win, sometimes, not really. All right, well, so next let's uh, let's talk about accessories. So, console. Well, consoles, you know, you obviously got your, your standard controller, comes with everything, you know, comes with every console. Um, generally, for, for gaming, you don't need any more accessories than that, you know. These days, I, I must admit that these days the consoles are pretty good in the sense they do provide mm. keyboard options, mouse yeah. options. Because, well, these days all consoles have the internet as an option rather than, you know, like, Back in the you know back in the old consoles, it was you know no really internet you know. Well, I will say this as well in regards to internet, consoles sort of do, especially in Australia, consoles have an advantage. Unfortunately, we've got ridiculously slow internet here. Mm. Consoles allow you to play on overseas servers with a decent ping, whereas you try and do that a PC. Uh, we've spent many a nights in land centres where the ping is ridiculous, like 300, you get kicked from the server straight away. Yeah. So consoles have it's had painful. that. It's painful. It's painful when you try to log in, you think you're in, you get about three minutes of gaming in and then, then lag. I will also mention that consoles were revolutionary in the sense of the Kinects and the, uh, the recent PlayStation VR. No, it was, it was all right. You know, like the first model, it was, it did everything it was supposed to. You didn't really feel like you were in the game. I didn't, I didn't feel personally, but it was very, it was very fun. I mean, PCs are amazing in the sense that they do have all these uh, uh, devices. You can now use a, uh, a controller for your PC. Yep. Uh, many controllers are actually compatible with PCs. Furthermore, the VR headsets like the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift far surpass any experience you can get on a console. Both in this 
discussion do have issues because not all games are released on all platforms and it's frustrating. Yeah. This, I think, as gamers, this is where we need to unite because it's unfair that PlayStation should get a game but not Xbox or PC. Or PC and Xbox get a game like Player Battlefields Unknown and PlayStation not get it for months or maybe yeah. a year more. Yeah. The computing power that both these platforms have, the PC and the, and the consoles, should enable gamers to be able to play cross-platform and uh, uh, yeah. you know in every in every game. And I mean, it's simple because you can play all these games on your tablet pretty much today. Yeah. I, th I think I think it's really money making by the um, console companies because you know I do understand it is expensive releasing games on all platforms because everyone's written in different code. But you know you've got these game engines which are uh, cross-platform compatible, like the Unreal Engine. That I, th I think that's where PC kind of wins over console in a way that you can you can have a lot more multi-platform <sighs> in the sense you can only so play against other PC players. Here's one thing about gaming on a console: mm. I've never had a blue screen of death come up. Yeah. I'm sorry to mention this, PC gamers, but come on, it is too often that you're running a Windows machine and. There's just so many things going on, something's going to glitch out, something's going to go wrong. But Xbox did have the red ring of death. If you left it on for too long, um, their first model didn't have enough fans in their system and it would get the red ring and die. <laughs> oh gosh. So they, you'd have to get it upgraded or you'd have to get the new system. What's your lifespan for an average console? Because I mean, I see consoles that are still around from the 80s. They last for a long time. Whereas PCs, um, I have a Mac collection, but even then, they don't date back to what the consoles but used to you, be around. Yeah, the the NES, the Sega Master System, oh, still around. Absolutely, but that does come down to I think in the sense that consoles do get put away. Consoles they don't they're not out all the time. After a while, you get bored of them for a while because you can't do everything. You know they might be in the way, so you put them away. You don't play them for a year. Here's one thing about PC uh, or, or computers: uh, you do need a lot of money to get a good looking unit, whereas a console. They all come good looking, really, unless unless it's not the one you like. It doesn't cost a lot to customise a console. You can no. put uh, vinyl vinyl packs on them. They often come out in special editions, which are highly customised. It's been become quite popular recently. Yes, yes. Yeah. You don't really notice a console as much as you do a desktop PC, especially a hardcore gaming one. A hardcore gaming PC sounds like a 747 taking off. If it, yeah. Even if it is water cool, you've got all those fans. The only, the only problem with consoles now, if you don't have the internet, you really do get behind in your updates. And the first time you log back onto the internet, you've got a day of updating before you can even really get into playing, sometimes. Yeah, um, how many viruses do consoles get? I've never had any. Yeah. I've never really heard of any. Yeah. How many, how many viruses do PCs get? Yeah. Um, okay, next subject. I believe we were talking about PC viruses. Well, let's talk about it from the gaming perspective. Yeah. From a gaming perspective, I think we've summed up that I even have to agree to this point that a console, if you are looking strictly for a gaming experience, a console is going to be better in every way. It's, it's, it's designated for its cause. It doesn't do anything else. There's no mucking about. And what it does, it does okay. But if you are looking to do more, if you're not just a gamer, or if you've got enough money that you can afford a console, then get a PC. Get the best PC that you can buy. Your productivity, the computing power, is you know substantially times more than what they had on the Apollo mission to send the first man to the moon. I believe they also were the first to have 4K graphics. Yeah. Uh, 4K. Um, also, what do you know about 60 frames per second? Gaming only, maybe wait a couple of months till the console has come out, yeah. prices have dropped, look for a second hand console that's still under warranty, that's a great deal. PCs, yeah, you don't need to spend a ridiculous amount of money, if you do have it, go ahead, but you don't really need a lot of money to get a good computer. You can spend under a grand. Um, but so that's our, I mean, we're sort of, as a gamer, I'd have to say, and while I can't use a console to save my life, I have to agree with him on this, the console does win it for gaming. Overall, my vote though is for PC. Bryce, overall, what do you think? Well, it'd have to be console. Okay, he's still with console. So it's uh, it's two, three votes for the console mm -hmm. and one vote for the PC. <laughs> Guys, comment below. 
uh, master PC race, help us out here. Comment what else is good about the PC. Point out those strong points. Keep more positive comments. Console viewers, point out the co positive comments about consoles that we've missed. If there's anything at all, or if we've made any mistakes, comment below. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, any messages? Hope you're gaming is lag free. That's my line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.